fam, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, you may be noticing we're in a different place and the quality is 4K. Okay, I said that thing about the 4K, but when I downloaded all the 4K files, my computer basically exploded. It sounded like a plane taking off. So I had to compress it to 1080. <laughs> Sorry, no 4K for you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the right equipment for that. Which can only mean I'm definitely not in my studio using my own cameras right now, thank goodness. And you may notice that I have my hair done. And that's because I am here at Brand Bondo Studio with oh, Brand Bondo! Yeah. We really put so many extensions in your hair. I know, I can't believe you did this. This looks so good, right? but I'm over oh. it. Before you watch this video, you have to go and watch Brad's video. We tried mm -hmm. on a bunch of wigs. He figured mm -hmm. out what would look best on me and he gave my hair the chop. The chop it needed. <laughs> and then in this video, he's going to dye it. I have no idea what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. I've put my full faith in Brad to know mm -hmm. what I need. You're really like, just go ahead and do whatever you want. Dye it black, blonde, blue, pink, purple. I want you to do whatever you wanted. I love that, but it's also like, can you tell me what you want? What you do, please, please. I literally have no <laughs> preference. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it. And it's gonna be incredible. And I think a big change. I will give you five seconds on the screen right now because you're about to see the haircut. So go over there, check it out. And now, <gasps> the reveal of you but haven't seen oh! already. <laughs> it's short. I'm obsessed with the length. I think this is giving edge. It's giving like New York City. But now the color has to also complement the cut. And I have some ideas. You and have I'm plans. ready to do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, I promise this the last time I will cover my hair in a video. The reveal is in this video. Oh my gosh. But I want to come on here really quickly and give you a little backstory on my hair if you're new here. So when I was young, I'm talking like 12 years old, I was actually decently daring with my hair. We actually tried on a wig over on Brad's video and it was weirdly very similar to how I once cut my hair when I was 12. Wow. <gasps> no. Yes. I had this. <laughs> you had this? I had this. I literally had this. Mom, did I have this haircut? I had that in real you life. You had this haircut? I cut it as a bob and left pieces and dyed yeah. the pieces pink. When? When I was in grade six. I'm so excited to relive. Let's see if it still looks good. Okay. Okay, I didn't have a micro bag. Oh. <laughs> Why do you have this? But around grade seven, I just stopped being daring with my hair at all. And I basically just let it grow out until it was over 30 inches long. And it was kind of like a golden, dirty blonde. It was really nice. I liked it, but I was bored of it. Because I feel like once you're used to looking in the mirror and seeing the same thing over and over and over and over, no matter what other people think of it, you're gonna get a little used to it. So in December of last year, I finally built up the courage. I chopped it all off and and donated it to charity. And I actually filmed that experience and I cut it myself and everything. And who would you guess reacted to it? Mr. Mondo, as my mom likes to call him. Good job, Mr. Mondo. <laughs> And you know what? He actually thought I did an okay job. Oh my God, this is like an 80s haircut sleigh. Like with the styling, it's giving 80s gorgeous, 70s even. Just so bodyful and voluminous. She actually did a good job on the cut. I'm interested to see the back, but from the front, it looks like a Fly. Fast forward eight or nine months, I had let my hair grow out. I have done like nothing to it in that time. And I had the hankering to cut micro bangs. But before I did that, I messaged Brad and I said, convince me not to get micro bangs. And what did he do? He said he should do my hair. And obviously I'm not gonna deny that. So now that you're up to date on what Brad has already done to my hair, basically cutting off all of my progress since my last job, let's see what he had in store for color. Now I will admit going into this, I had a theory that he was going to take me to platinum because if you watch Brad's videos, he seems to really enjoy blonde hair. I like blonde hair. It gives me bright, gorgeous, fabulous vibes. People like to get on my case about liking blonde hair. The comments are probably gonna be flooded with comments being like, Brad only likes people with blonde hair. 
And I may have got on his case a little bit about it. You're blonde <laughs> to like brunette transformation videos. You're always like, oh yeah, they look good. They look more proper now. They used to look fun and exciting. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't the only one poking fun. He was snatching my wig endlessly. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing a little face frame moment. This is gonna add a little accent of something more. So it's not just one color. It's not boring. And I think you have a lot of root going on. You noticed. Yeah. I actually like your color a lot better now that we that cut it. Yeah, it looks purposeful. I'm shocked that you didn't take this moment to do like rainbow though. I've done <laughs> so many of these makeovers where I do like crazy colors and they inevitably fade out after, you know, a month of wear and then they're left with like a blank canvas to do whatever they want. But I love giving people wearable colors as well. And like, I never really did that a lot in my earlier career because I thought they wouldn't get as much attention, mm. but people love a natural color. Have you seen Confessions of a Shopaholic? No, but I now I want you've to. You've never seen it? I'm pretty sure it was like, it's based in New York. I can't believe you've never seen it. What's your favorite type of movie? Like, what's your favorite movie? Well, we were just talking about Avatar, and I really do love Avatar. Okay. But I also love, like, Inception a lot, which is such a random one to like, I don't know. That That's just like a bro -y one to like, I feel like. Bro, bro -y movies. What about you? So, one of is Confessions of a Shopaholic. Mm -hmm. I also love Hot Rod. Have you ever seen Hot Rod? Yeah, that sounds bro -y. It's kind of just silly, but it's so good. And I feel like no one's seen it. I don't understand why you need to watch it and what kind of music do you listen to you know are you ever just hanging out with someone and you're kind of just sitting there they're doing all of the work and you're just sitting there like a lump trying to make yourself useful but you're really just asking useless questions because that's what i was doing all day these are like things because i never have favorites of anything like you could be like what's your favorite color i'm like i have no idea i don't know anything about myself like nothing like, i feel like i could tell you your favorite color is purple <laughs> Oh my god, never. What? That's like my least favorite color. Ooh. You know what my favorite colors are that aren't colors? Don't say it. Is it black and white? Black, white, and like silver. Everything in my house is white. And like, I'm like one of those people who like loves just nothingness. Oh. You would be so sad in my house. Really? Yeah, you'd be like... Do you know what my house looks like? No. Doesn't it stress you out? No. It makes me feel good. And I don't want to seem like I'm just on my phone while you're working so hard, but I'm actually looking for something. Like, is that how it feels when like you're filming? It feels like someone's just sitting around and you're out having to do all the work. Um, um that's kind of what's happening. The thought has gone through my head. I've just never been on the other side, so I don't even know what it feels like. <laughs> well, you could today. I would stay late and do your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Would you ever let me do it? Um, <gasps> wait, 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 wait. How about if this video and your video gets to two million? million views mm. then you'll let me do your hair however I want I feel like two million is not enough sorry that you're famous what's your number <laughs> three million views on both our videos and you'll let me do your hair you can style it and color I promise I'll do a good job. All right. Any color? We'll say yeah. Three million views on both of our videos and I get to yes. do Brad's hair, anything that we want. Yeah! <laughs> what can we like um, put on you now? Like if this video gets three million views, then I will go streaking through New York City. <laughs> All right, you heard it. Don't watch this video. <laughs> Turn this video off. Cut the cameras. Cut it. So, we have the foils done. This we, isn't adding up with what I thought you were doing also. You know what, for me either. Now I really don't know what's going on. Something's so. not making sense for me. I don't know about you. How long do I have to leave this on for? 15 minutes. 15. Is that enough to power up? Yes. Okay, let's, let's do eat. it. Let's do it. <laughs> You look really blonde right now. Right? Wow. Oh. I feel like this is so weird. Why are, are you foiling it like from the, oh, that one piece? Okay, enough of me trying to figure this out. You need to tell me all of your secrets about YouTube. Okay, what do you wanna know? What's your favorite video you've ever made? I think just the first reaction video because that was like what made my whole life and career. Like that one day, I was working all day that day and I called my mom and I was like, mom, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> like I want to be a YouTuber so bad. And she's like, honey, just like film another video. Just go for it. And I was like, you're so right. 
And that was the day I filmed my first reaction video, like by accident. I had no idea what even reaction videos were. It's honestly crazy because reaction videos are so like, okay, just wait, I have to finish my whole sentence before okay. anyone reacts. Reaction videos are kind of like normally plain to me to mm -hmm. watch, but because you're a hairdresser and because you have your specialty, you don't just react, you also give advice. And so it's like a perfect tandem of the two together and it's so helpful, but it's also super entertaining. Yeah, I tried to make it like informative, but also just have fun with it. And that was the coolest. I didn't, I had no like idea that was gonna actually take off. So I was like, wait, what? Like, why do people want to see me watch people mess up their hair? That's so weird. And I thought for sure, not gonna go past like six months doing that type of content. Like I thought people would get really sick of it or right. I would run out of like videos to watch. To watch, yeah. But now it's been five years and I'm still watching. I still got them. There's still people ruining their hair. <laughs> Including myself. <laughs> Including you. I hear your guys' accent. So there's a few things that I say weird and I'm gonna tell you guys them and you can tell me if they're wrong or right, okay? It'll be a game, mm -hmm. all right? And just for everyone watching, there's like five people in this room. First one, milk. <laughs> there's no way you actually say milk. Milk. <laughs> I'm really scared. Okay, so that's one. How about this? Bag? Am I saying it right? Well, there is an you're A in bag, like, so. Yeah, you're like really emphasizing the vowel in there. Bag. <laughs> bag. <laughs> what is it supposed to be? Bag. Bag. Ba. Bag. Bag. Bag? Bag. My go. bag. What about this? Garage. Garage? Oh. That's a wild one. My garage. I park my car in the garage. So wait, what is it supposed to be? Garage. Garage. Malk. Now. <laughs> so like, scary. It's like, now. Now. At this point, Brad decided it was better if I no longer got to see the color he was doing. I will say I did see a millisecond of it. I accidentally turned and looked and it was a jump scare because oh my gosh, he's dyeing my hair black. You can't look. Ah! Oh my God, I just saw a bit of it and it was black. Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm sweating. I'm immediately sweating. <laughs> I kind of started to have a little bit of a freak out because everyone was loving the black wig, but I felt like I kind of looked like a vampire. I love black hair with pale skin on other people, but on my pale skin, it was very shocking. So I got a little nervous at this point. Sorry, did you just make my hair black? I might have. A few moments later. I'm so scared. I taunted Brad and now look where it got me. I also want to tell you guys this entire shoot took over nine hours and although I was just sitting on my butt Brad and his team were working so hard so thank you so much for doing this I definitely felt very spoiled and I was super excited me and my mom were looking forward to this since he messaged me okay and then after a dry and a style it was time for the reveal in three I'm nervous two Wait, I'm scared. Wait, I'm actually one. Right. <gasps> oh my god it's really brown. I was like, are you faking? I was like, did he turn platinum out of this? I am fully obsessed with this color. This is rich love. Oh my goodness. I love it too. And it's like a little bit like, almost like ashy light on the mm -hmm. bottom, right? What I did was highlight first. Okay. Because inevitably this is going to fade away. Your blonde will be still underneath your hair. This is a toner, this is a gloss. Okay. So the more you wash it, the lighter it gets. Underneath that, we have some beautiful face trimming highlights. Once you're in different lights, you'll see more of the, the sort of different tones going through your hair. Mm -hmm. But once this fades off, you'll also have the highlights that are not to your root. They're more of like a balayage style highlight so that when that wears off, you don't have to like go to the salon right away. You're not stuck with just like what you had before. There's kind of like two looks in one. That's what I'm feeling. Did you just give me a mystery <laughs> box haircut? You're a magician. I want something more natural looking personally because I think you just rock the natural colors and I want something more cool toned. You were very warm before yeah but your skin is very cool toned now i feel like your hair complements your skin a lot better and everything just looks rich and luxurious rich. and i love <laughs> this length on you i and, love the length oh, it's so cute i love it i'm a brunette now you're like a blonde you have blonde, to let go blonde, you have to blonde. let go to blonde you have to let go of the blonde i am I a brunette now i can't let go let it go well, I love it. Thank Yay. you so much. You're it's so nice. I'm like, I don't want to go off camera, but I'm like, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Oh, you did so much work. So yeah, I guess I'm a brunette now. I don't think I've ever had hair. Actually, no, I know I've never had hair this dark before. Now granted, it's not that dark. And Brad did mention that the color was just toned in, so it would probably rinse out a little bit. So I think it's even a little lighter right now than it was a week ago when Brad did it. But it is definitely darker than I'm used to and darker than I've ever been. I am so used to being blonde. Definitely gonna take some getting used to, but I'm really liking it. And I actually think that the brown color is making my eyes pop, which is interesting because I don't understand color theory at all. You'll notice that even more so in next week's video but I never would have guessed that having brown hair and brown eyes would make my eyes pop but I kind of feel like it does and equally so how I haven't had hair this dark I also have never had hair this short even when I did my big chop so this is the shortest I really cannot fit it in a ponytail at all this is what the ponytail I get and all this is still in the front so needless to say I have not been utilizing a ponytail or a scrunchie in a while so this is actually what my hair looks like when I curl it. I curled it and as you can see I don't really have any full curls happening. It just kind of bubbles out and comes out here. I also crimped it to show you and also strained it. So here's my hair in all three different styles. I definitely need to learn how to tackle this short hair. I really really hope you guys enjoy my hair and if you don't and you hate it I am sorry, but you know what's the great thing about hair? It grows back. So yeah, here is my finished hair. Make sure to let me know down below what you think of it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!